everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays uh, FTL, hopefully the conclusion to the episode that we started on Sunday. More than likely this will pop up on Sunday again. Uh, I apologize for the week removed between episodes again. This wasn't something that I was planning to make like a regular series, but the response for the first episode has actually gone pretty good. So we might actually try to slip it into making it a regular type of uh, episode or something like that. Or not a regular episode, but a regular series, we'll see. Um, just a matter of me finding some extra time to actually fit an FTO into the scheme of things here. Um, depending on how this goes, we might actually try either a hard run. Do we have any scrap for this? We might. Let me, let me jump forward here and then we might go back to that store. So, um, I've, there's been a pretty good, um, I guess, response for the, uh, series. So, I might try to either try this out in hard mode next time, or maybe even to go with some mods, which I've heard they're actually pretty interesting. So we'll go about that when we get to that point, but for now, let's just continue, hopefully. We have a good, uh, second part of this run here. So far, everything's gone pretty good in my estimate, anyway. Alright, right now, are you getting... Uh, let's actually start here, and let me get back into the FTL mood. It's been probably, like, uh, six, seven days removed since my last episode, so sorry if I'm initially a little bit, uh, shaky here. Um, as you are getting your bearings, another ship suddenly arrives at the beacon. It is Delanius, and they've marked you for... They've marked your ship for salvage already, so the Delanius are gonna pretty much come at us. They're gonna have cloaking, which is not really good at all. Especially with their fucking flat cannons, which I really hate. So I do have the energy shield initially to uh, at least kind of strave off some of that assault. But we'll see how that goes. Um, let me look at my weapons here. I have a halberd beam as well, right? I have two halberd beams, right? So I've been, I think I've been dabbling in the effect that I might probably get two halberd beams up and running. But we'll see how this goes. Alrighty, so that's gonna pretty much completely take out all of our... Oh wow, they have a, <laughs> they have a mind control thing too. Uh, NG, don't take out my shields, please. I'm gonna actually need them right now. So, um, let me send, um, I guess Slugman over here to kind of, uh, at least stop this NG from wrecking my shields too bad here. And meanwhile, I guess we'll start looking at how do we affect them. Well, I guess we're gonna start off with the Jared. All right, let's actually start with the Flak Beam. Uh, I've been told recently also that, um, the Flak thing kind of works like the area that's gonna hit like a certain cluster of areas. So if I was to shoot over here, for instance, it would probably have a chance of hitting all of this, as opposed to just focusing on my shields. But you know what, I'm gonna go with shields this time around, even though this would probably hit a few more extra rooms, but this has a better chance of hitting the shield and the cloak bay, which I'd rather like to uh, get out of the way there. So they're gonna also board, which is a problem because the is I can't really drain them out in terms of oxygen because um, they're dicks that way. They don't need the oxygen to my knowledge, so this is going to be kind of interesting here, so I have a confused, uh, I have a controlled character and a boarding party as well, so let's see how the flag goes. Flag went relatively well, well unfortunately my halberd beam is not up and running, I should have probably waited for that. Let me send the Jared Leto bomb over to the shields as well. Okay, that landed, now halberd could pretty much go in and do work, I would say, let's go, I really need that goddamn cloak bay. Oh, here we go. Perfect. This will be... No! Okay. I can't get four rooms? Four rooms would be ideal for this. Uh, let's see. There we go. Four rooms. Okay, relatively good. I, I could tell him to fuck off, which would be kind of interesting. However, 24 scrap is not really good for Sector 5, to be quite honest with you. So I might actually just wait up. As dangerous as it sounds, I might just wait up. Accept their offer? No. We're gonna actually hold off. And hopefully it doesn't come back and bite me in the ass too much. There is a breach now, which is kind of really unfortunate. As you can see, the Lanius effect has indeed uh, drained the oxygen from that area. Uh, NG Man needs to stop being such a dick and hopefully comes around now. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? So we got the Flak ready to go. So now I'm going to go with Flak, all through this, and hopefully... Okay, so they, they withdrew, so that's good. And my NG seems to be not controlled anymore. So that's going to help out quite a bit. Let me open this up over here to kind of get the oxygen flowing. I uh, have screwed them up quite a bit. They did cloak once more, but that's not too big of a concern now. Let me send you back over here. And I will take care of that breach afterward. I suppose I can start working on it now, right? Yeah, let's let me send um this dude over here and maybe even uh, Slugman to give him a hand. And they're up and running again. Let's see. I just need to get uh, I don't want to send the Jared Leto bomb for this or the Jared Leto missile for this. I'm going to hold off. They're going to invade now into the shield, so these assholes just went away momentarily just for a little while. Um, NG's about to go down too, so NG, let me actually have you leave this area. We'll leave them alone. But we'll be okay, because should my Halber Beam should pretty much take care of this endeavor for us. There you go, no big deal. Now we just have to deal with these assholes who are going to stay on the goddamn ship and fuck us up. So let me go and start sending... Uh, Slug isn't even that healthy, huh? So let me send Rockman. And let me send, um, we'll hold off for a second. 
They shouldn't be able to take down my shields anyway, so 50 scrap, that's actually a better payout than we originally had. So let me send this guy, and then I'll send these two guys here. The, the problem about this is that they drain the oxygen in your shields, so that's going to be a little bit more hard, because now my guys also run, the I guess, the effect of uh, taking oxygen damage as they're fighting. As you can see, this guy is already kind of jacked up here, so you need to move. Let me send you over here, and hopefully... Okay, Harper left, right? So Rockman's gonna fight to a degree. Oh god, they're actually jacking up completely my um, oxygen everywhere, so that was not the best idea. So let me just open this up now, I guess. And oh man, these guys are gonna just run game on my complete uh, area here. So, and I, the thing is that... I, wait, wait, wait. Can I just... Um, why don't I have to do that? But can I just put power in my clone base so if my guys do die, they could just essentially... Uh, I guess, re revive? So, let me send everybody over here away. Like, let them go uh, up through here, essentially. Rockman is still gonna fight. Oh, I lost an NG! Did I lose an NG because of the oxygen? I think I did. I saw something just blow up right now, so... Oh god, Rockman, you need to leave. Rockman, leave! Oh god, that was really close. So, we only have one more dude to deal with. None of my guys are really situated for this, however. I don't think my slug's gonna be able to take this guy out, too, so... Slug, you need to start running away as well. Already fucking lane... <laughs> this guy, I don't even know what to do here. I can't send the NG, what is the NG gonna do against this guy? Nothing. Alrighty, this is troubling indeed. I have no idea how to combat this man. So, let me send, uh... Well, I have to go with NG now for this one. There's gonna be absolutely no choice but to do that. Let me open up the rooms over here to kind of, this is like the really most annoying fucking boarding party of all time. This is the first time I've ever dealt with one of these too. So let me open up these rooms to kind of get some oxygen. He's gonna take down my shields, I mean, it's gonna be kind of difficult to kind of get those shields back, all things considered. Okay, Wyatt is back, so my clone bay did finally do some work there. Okay. Now, what I'm hoping is that after he's done there, he'll just probably come up over here and fight us. So let me move these guys over here. Uh, Rockman cannot risk a fight right now, so I'm gonna have to go with, uh, well... Wyatt, let me just hold up. Let me, uh, <laughs> give you a second here. This is scary. Alrighty, just finished with those shields already, man. I, I can't risk sending them in there because then the oxygen's gonna get to them. Alrighty. Come on, you. Alright, so he finished off the shields. Unfortunately, he didn't go where I wanted him to go, which was up here. So now we're gonna have to go down there regardless. So we're gonna more than likely lose a few members. Uh, I'm gonna have to rely on the clone bay, unfortunately. So I just need to take this guy out, though. That's, at this point, that's all that really matters. Okay, so he's out. Go up here. Um, my clone bay, hopefully, oh, give me my NG back. He's gonna basically get a bit of extra, less, uh, abilities to his name, but at least he'll come back soon enough here. And as you can see, we're completely hurt right now, so now that's done with. Let's send you over here, Captain. With only one health, that's not really good. Probably a good time to actually start investing in, a, a better, uh, clone bay, more than likely, too. So that wasn't too well, but at least we finally did test out the clone bay finally, and it does have its use, obviously. Let me send Wyatt over here, and then everybody else could just run off to where they should be, essentially. Um, you come over here. So I have a really fucked up crew right now, as you can tell. But hopefully, um, it works out for us. So my shields are up and running again, everybody run off to where you should be. And that's, uh, with the scrap that we got, let's actually take a look at this, and you know what, um, 9 seconds to clone, 16 HP per jump. Let me, I don't really want to do this just yet, but let's go and give ourselves one more power here. And I guess we could invest even one more reactor power. Alrighty. So, what my, what I hope with this is that the next time we jump, we'll be able to at least, uh, get a bigger health boost per jump. So, um, let's close off my doors. That was a really interesting first fight. I could go back to the store now, but I don't think that's probably the best because I would like to get a few more extra scrap. That was my initial plan for this one. Let's just jump back and get some scrap and then go back. Oh god. Alright, you arrive at the beacon to discover a civilian ship fleeing from a lone lanius craft. The civilian message is, HELP! The metal monsters are coming to the meltdown our ship! I'm not sure why he sounds that way, but he does. Strangely, no active weapon signatures are detected. I could attack them, I could stay out of it, or I could try to contact. Let's try to contact them. You approach the ship without activating weapons, and the civilian ship says, Don't go any closer, just kill them before hastily making a retreat. Ignore them and continue. Okay, wait a minute. You ask what they want, and the translator ships the response is explore. Assess trade potential. It appears to be a merchant ship attempting to make uh, connections with the other races. The civilian must have simply been too scared to ask. You check that they have to sell at the moment. Alright, good. So we found a, a store by luck alone. I'd rather, uh, you know, not fight them and just uh, 
be on friendly bases with them. So they have another halberd beam. They have a Hermes, they have a chain laser. What is this? Dual burst laser increases uh decreases in cooldown more it fires. Oh wow. That sounds really fucking good. Um 16 seconds is the initial load time though. Um, cloaking? We could get cloaking, I just don't have enough money for that. Is there anything I could sell? I could sell the Breach Bombs, which I probably will, because, uh, this requires three powers. I'm just gonna go with Toledo for one now, so let me sell that. That's still not enough for the cloaking, unfortunately, which would be really good, especially for the, uh, Federation ship. Um, drone control, not really. Backup battery could have its use occasionally. Uh, let's... Oh, fuck. Page two, uh, they have another Angie. And drones. I'm not really interested in the drones. I might buy this engine, to be quite honest with you. Hmm. I might go with the NG, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't want to sell any of my weapons right now, obviously. Uh, how's our, our fuel situation isn't too bad now as it once was before. So let me do a little bit of repairing up to there. Uh, missiles could be kind of okay, because I've been using it for the Jared Leto missile right now. And 94 left, huh? I could go with backup battery, I guess, even this chain, but this requires two power, meaning I'd have to re release either the flak or anything else. Uh, 16 seconds. What is my flak at right now? Flak is at 10 seconds. I mean, I like the fact that it'll basically um, shoot faster every time you, uh, every time it charges, which sounds like a really, really good weapon for us. If I could just go back into the goddamn store, that'd be massive. Alrighty, uh, let's... Fuck. Faster charge, uh, chain charge cap 7. Shots per charge, 2. Normal damage, 1. Fire chance, low. Fire would be pretty good, too, huh? So I'm gonna buy it. I'm, I'm just gonna buy it and see how this goes. Now, in order for this to work, though, let me drop flak for now and let me go with chain. And let me just move this over here and this over there. Okay. So I'm gonna go with this uh, setup right now, and you know what? Let me just heal up a bit more, just in case. Okay, so maybe not the best choice, but we'll see how this goes. So for now, we could just jump down through here, here, and we have a good path to the exit. So we're gonna get a bit more extra health by jumping, thankfully. Alright, the Alanius Merchant appears to have a significantly improved translator as you clearly understand her message. Metal content more than sufficient does your chip care to exchange resources for our excess metal. Agree to exchange is gonna require six missiles, that's not really worth it. Six missiles were 27 scrap? No. Let me uh, decline but ask about their translation device. Yes, it is of quality. Our chip contains access care to purchase. Purchase a translator for 40 scrap? I'm gonna have to decline. Hopefully I don't get too pissed off. No matter, this is not mine, this ship. Alright, they're not gonna fight us, thankfully. <laughs> I was gonna be like, what are you gonna be mad because I can't afford it? I'm sorry, drop the price of your item and I might be able to purchase it. I just bought stuff from your other Lanius friend like one beacon ago. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Um, yeah, let's send away a party. Alright, we got a quest marker, we got 4 fuel, a drone part, and 23 scrap. That's a great jump right there, and the quest marker is right there. So let's go to stress and then quest, I suppose. And see what's going on over here. Our guys are recovering more health by the clone base, I'm happy about that. You arrive at this location of the distress signal prepared for a fight, but on first glance it's entirely empty. The signal is coming from a small plastic satellite orbiting a moon. Uh, orbiting a moon. Looping message describes how sellers have recently abandoned the area due to the landing as threat. You fail to find any other signs of... Uh, Settlement, alright. So maybe that could have been something we could have done if we had the translating unit, perhaps? Who knows, I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds like something should have happened there. Alright, so the quest here is gonna be three shields, which is not good. At least they can cloak. I'm not sure about their weapons either. Okay, uh, scary weapons. Scary weapons indeed. So what we're gonna do here is uh, load up the chain and the Dlito. And that seems to work out pretty good, and we have one more power left, so let's put it into the uh, dodging ability here, and let's just go and see what happens now. And we have all guys set up in proper bays, it does seem. Okay. They're gonna board us right now, so I don't really need a row in over here in the doors, but whatever. I guess we could just put them in oxygen just in case. Alrighty, so there comes a the missile, that's cool. We still have our, our Jarrett Lethal bomb is our missiles ready to go. There goes our energy shield completely, though. Alright, chain is good to go, so let's go with chain on, well, let me send Jarrett Leto over to shield first and foremost. They hacked us, which is unfortunate. They hacked our shield too, no less, which is kind of an annoying place to actually be hacking us. Alrighty, that's enough. So now let's go, and if we can, okay, we were able to hit their shield and now, or their hacking ability, and now they're not going to hack us anymore, for now at least, until that's up and running. Alright, so chain shot once, and it was pretty good. I'm going to hold off on the Jarrett Leto one more time, though. I'm gonna hope 
that chain could do its job and knock this down. It only hit one time, though, unfortunately. I'm going to keep an eye on this chain. I want to see how much it's going to reduce over time. I'm going to hold off on the halberd beam until we get chain up and running one more time. There it is. Shoot that right there. We missed twice, which is rather unfortunate, so I'm going to hold off. I'm not, I don't want to send, I don't want to waste my missiles as I really have to. Chain lightning is actually, or chain laser is actually doing pretty good. So now that this is done, we could definitely go like this. Okay, good, good. Chain's going to be up and running really soon anyway. Now, we won't be able to get through their shields without doing anything else, like at least using the Jarrett Leto, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So let me just focus on this. Halber Beam is not up and running just yet, too, unfortunately. Come on, Chain. Come on, Chain. They hacked their shield again. But I'm not too worried because this should be the end of them now. Let me just do this. All right, excellent. And then we took a shot to the sensors, but that's not okay. That's not too bad. All right, and we got a healing burst, and we even got another slug. All righty, well, how's it going, Mikhail? You're from Lost, apparently. So, Lost, Mikhail, let me just have you go to the... I guess we could just go there now. And we have an extra power because our dude is actually taking care of the oxygen for us. Let me switch you guys off, though. I, I don't see myself move. I, I see myself moving this guy more often than this guy. So let's just do it this way. Alrighty, that's perfect. That'll work out for me. Everything up and running, good. Let's jump. So that was a relatively okay fight. Um, let me. Let's see. I could jump over here, up here, up here, and down if I could. So let's just go through this side and hopefully get as much beacons as possible before we jump to the sixth sector here. Intruders on board, which kind of sucks because I get nothing from this. So let me open this up and start, you know, doing some damage in terms of oxygen wise over here. And let's see. Let's open this up and open this up and hopefully we start draining them of their oxygen. Now, it's going to take them a little while to get through these doors because they are reinforced because we have that extra Zoltan on the other door area. So that should work out to a degree. This guy's going to come in here and fight our slug. I think my slug should be able to take care of him by himself. Let me just uh, close this door off now if I could. Close the goddamn door. I can right now because he did take it down momentarily. So let's keep this open for sure. And let's see what do we have here. Alright, so for the most part, we should be able to take care of this guy with the slug by himself. These guys are still over here getting damage from the oxygen deprivation. So, all good. Let me just send him over here to kind of give us a hand, but we should be okay. Let me just open the doors now. No big damage there. Everybody go back to your designated spot. So, you don't have a designated spot. You over there, let me just save this layout again. Save it up. Close it up. Alright, so overall, pretty good. That went relatively well. We'll get a little bit of a health boost when you jump anyway. Actually, let's do this so that we get the 16 instead of the 8. Uh, store back over here. Mm, I'd like to, but at 89 scrap, I don't think it's really worth it right now. So let's just jump over on this one instead. Alrighty. So most of my guys are almost just about healed, which isn't too bad. A merchant ship is docked with Delania's transport. You message them to see if they need any help. It turns out that they have been studying Delania's ship uh, ability to reshape metal. Let's inquire about the process. They respond, we haven't the foggiest idea how it works. They appear to... Alright, we've already read this before. I could give them 45 scrap to get an augmentation. 50 scrap to get a weapon and 40 for drone schematic parts. So weapon or augmentation? I'm going to go with the augmentation because I think we have enough weapons right now. And we got the explosive replicator. I'm not sure what the fuck that is, but it costs us 45 scrap. Let's take a look at this really quickly here. Missiles based weapons have a 50% chance to not use a missile. That's actually really, really good, especially for our uh, Jarrett Leto situation here. So I won't be too, I guess, uh, cautious about using those now. I mean, it's only a 50% chance, but, you know, that's still pretty good. One in every two missiles should not uh, cost us a missile at parts, so that's actually really impressive. So we're going to jump over here, maybe the one below, and then we'll hit the exit if we have enough time. Rebel message to you. Uh, who would have thought that the most wanted ship in the quadrant would just happen to be my station? Prepare to meet your maker. All right, we'll see about that, man. All right, so everything seems to be up and running. Everything seems to be good. Let me take this off of here, put it into my dodging ability. All righty. And now we just wait till our stuff charges here. And let's see what do they have. They have a boarding unit. At least no hacking or any crazy stuff like that. They have a lot of weapons though. So um, they will be able to go into my shields in the next volley that they shoot off here. Uh, Jarrett Leto, let me hold off on you for a second. And now let me do Chain Lightning first and foremost to... Actually, let me do Jarrett Leto to miss to weapons, I guess? Or no, shield. And let's also take a look at our missiles, see if this doesn't cost us. Oh, it actually did cost us, so... That one did replicate, did not replicate. They have a lot of shield power though, because I just shot that down and they were able to withhold it. Now let me do halberd beam like so. Okay, that went pretty good. And now they boarded. Not a big deal. 
only human borders, so let me just go ahead and open this up here and start draining them of oxygen. And let's keep an eye out on our defenses here. Their shields are down, though, so I don't think, unless that's a halberd beam that they have, they shouldn't be... Oh, they do have a halberd beam, as a matter of fact. So that could be a little bit scary. So for now, you run off. And, alright, my shield's back up, so I shouldn't be really worried about it, their halberd beam. Now let me go and shoot once again into their shields. Good. Halberd beam, you're not online yet. Halberd beam, come on. Ah, oh, they got their shield back up, so that's not going to work out for us. I'm not going to shoot the Jarrett Lethal Missile. I don't think I have to do that just yet. Uh, Chain Lightning is good to go, so let's go with the shield again. We missed, unfortunate, one of them, so I'm going to hold off. No Jarrett Lethal just yet. I could close this off now, though. And Chain is up and running. Let me try this again. Hopefully both of them hit. They do. And let's just go down this way. Powering up their FTL. They're going to try to run away, which is actually not good for us. So let me send a missile to... Uh, let's send a missile to the captain unit over here. Good, they're not going to get away anytime soon right now. Shoot this over here. Halberd beam not up and running just yet, though, which is unfortunate. You could go back to where you should be going, though. Alrighty. So they're still delayed, which is okay for us. Uh, let's shoot this one more time over here. Halberd beam once again down through all of this. Why they did not shoot, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, they got their shield right up in time, and they're boarding us again, so these guys are kind of really determining boarders, aren't they? I might have to do Jarrett Leto after all. So let's do Jarrett Leto to shields. Hopefully it doesn't miss, and it didn't. Chain Lightning to shields again. Halber Beam not up and running, though. Alrighty, so here comes these assholes. Let me just move you guys over this side. Jarrett Leto. I don't want them running away. That's the big uh, issue right now. Halberd Beam, I need to wait till the Halberd Beam is up and running, so Chain Lightning could go now. Halberd Beam ready to go, let's do this. Alright, they're gonna try to surrender uh, 24 scrap, 6 missiles is actually really good, but I'd rather go with the scrap, so I'm gonna not keep that and actually just fight them off now. Open the doors. We should be okay, so 50 scrap, probably, maybe I should've gone with the missile after all, who knows. Uh, let's fight these guys off over here, is my, is Harper gonna be okay? He should be okay. Yeah, alrighty. We got a little bit of extra fighting power for Harper as well. Not that it really matters because you don't want Sultans fighting because of their low HP anyway. So let's close off the doors. Relatively okay. And let's jump over to this guy and then we'll do the exit afterwards so we have enough time. So again, we're probably looking at another long episode, but um, you know, that's kind of the basis of FTO, isn't it? You arrive to see a, n a number of rebel ships attempting to discuss landing scavenger ships from acquiring their forward station of passing rebel patrol ships, spots you and moves into intercept. Okay, so this is basically almost the same exact fucking layout, but they do have one less shield, which is actually really good for us. So let's hold up for a second here. Let's get the Chain Lightning and Halberd Beam to go hand in hand. Jared Leto's gonna be ready to go, so I'll hold off for Jared Leto. Alrighty. Chain Lightning is up, so let's go and start shooting at their, I guess, weapons. I should have gone to the shields, but no biggie. We weren't gonna hit anything if we just needed them to hit the shields at the very least, so. Perfect. That worked out quite well for us. Their oxygen is out. A lot of their systems are actually quite damaged now. I'm not going to shoot the Jared uh, Leto missile for this fight, I don't imagine. So Chain Lightning is going to go... Actually, let's hold off on the chain until we have Halberd Beam a little bit more charged up. Good. Now let's go with Shield. We hit their Shield and let's, uh, let's do this now. 26 scrap, or you know what, your other guy actually offered us more missiles and I said no, so what is your chance of me saying yes? Absolutely zero, bro, so that's good. 50 scrap, 2 missiles, 2 fuel. Alrighty. So we have a good uh, build up, right? We're almost kind of close to actually acquiring the uh, cloaking bay, or the cloaking option if we see it one more time. So let's go to the exit, we won't have enough time for one more beacon. So relatively good, um, good sector for us overall. Uh, I could sell my drone parts, yes, let's actually do that. Let's sell all, um, 12 of them for 48 scrap. <laughs> Alright, that's good. We have a lot of them, and we're not going to be using any uh, drones, to my knowledge. So we have to go to Uncharted Nebula for this one, and then we'll go to Undentified Hostile Sector, and then finally the Federation, uh, or I guess the last sector, if you want to call it that. So Nebulas, uh, I'm not really a big fan of them, especially when they drain your power, but, you know. Everybody's actually powered up, so I don't think I need to even do this now. So let's just jump, and let's take a look. Oh, we have a store right off the bat. Good. So we have also a Helium Burst to sell, right? So we're going to have a lot of scrap to play around with here. So first and foremost, sell the healing burst, and now, or the healing bomb, I should say, flak. Do we really need the flak now that we have the chain? Especially when I get the halberd? Uh, I want to say no. 
I want to say no, so you know what, Flack, you kind of served us okay, but it's time for us to depart. Ah, uh, do I want to buy more people? Not necessarily. Hermes is pretty cool. The Hermes shoots actually twice if I am... No, it doesn't. No, I'm thinking of the Pegasus. Pegasus uh, shoots two missiles for the cost of one. Uh, charge Ion Charger sounds really good. Another Chain Lightning Burst. Wow, that would be kind of impressive to have two of those. Would it be better than having a Jarrett Leto missile, though? Hmm, that's a good question. Jarrett Leto charges pretty fast and it also pierces shields. I mean, we gotta think that if Kaji, uh, we're soon gonna start running into the territory where shield, uh, enemies are gonna have three and four shields quite easily. So the uh, Jarrett Leto's gonna come in handy for that. But at the same time, we could just do the Hermes, which is, oh, it requires three powers. And yeah, I'm not sure about that. It does, nor it does uh, damage of three, though. Jared Leto only does one damage, which is not really that impressive. That's why their shields aren't going down too fast. I'm not sure, man. Chain Burst Laser or Ion Charger? Ion Charger would actually be pretty good for, um... You know what? I'm going to go with the Ion Charger. And I'm going to say bye to the Jared uh, Leto. Because um, this will also do the charging thing, right? So it's six seconds to charge up, and we could send out up to three shots. So that would be three shields, just about, assuming they hit. So I'm going to buy this. And I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna sell the Jarrett Leto off just yet. I'm gonna put Halberd Beam away for now, though. I, I still want to do the Halberd, the double Halberds, but I'll do that after we have enough uh, weapon power. So I think this will work out for now. Do we need to do anything else? Let's buy some fuel. I don't want to get stuck in that situation. And now let's look at our ship and actually upgrade our weapons if we can. So right now we're looking at what? We have three, five, six, eight, right? Which is the maximum we could actually get, meaning. I'd have to drop something, or I'd have to do some micromanaging if I want to shoot two halberd beams and, like, you know, the chain or the charge, actually. Huh. So, let's, uh, man. Let's go ahead and get the power for this. And, uh, not enough for the other one. So, let's hold off on that for now. I do want to get the weapons uh, completely dealt with, and then we'll start focusing on more defensive measure. Not a good idea, honestly. I'd rather go defensive and then offensive, but, you know... This is kind of the hand we're kind of dealt with right now. You come across a large trade station, however, as soon as you approach the station goes out of all signs in the region. Do not associate with the Federation sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Let's search among the stores to see if someone will sell to you. And somebody did. There's a med bay. I don't know what the med bay. Cloaking god fucking damn it, one store too late. Uh even if I sold the Halpert beam and Lido, I don't think we'd have or we might. 42? No. We're we we need 58. Oh, that's not enough. Unless I sell the... You know, I'm, I should sell this since we're not... If we sell the Jared Leto, we could sell this off, right? Automatic reload would be actually pretty good, too. Reconstructive teleport. Crew gets uh, teleported. Destruction... Distraction buoys. Uh, leave a false signal at sector to start a delay. Okay. There's a lot of interesting stuff here that I'm not really too familiar with. So, let me sell... This is going to leave us really underpowered if I sold this, though. That's the problem. 30 and 40. Yeah, this is going to leave us really underpowered. Because then I'll have something for shields but no damage. This will be for damage occasionally along with the halberd beam. It's just not enough. I don't think we'd be doing enough damage output actually actually warrant selling this off and this along with that. It's a good, I, it's a good like, you know, theory in nature, but it's not really a good uh, thing for us. So let me just buy the automated reloader. The cloaking is really, really important, especially for the Federation, uh, for the fleet fight. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Just because it's really important. So let me sell this off. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. Now, I could I, I could essentially just fucked myself, and I am, for some reason, under the impression that I just did. I feel like I just fucked myself, but uh, I gotta I gotta think defensive, at least when it comes to fighting the uh the the Federation fleet ship, whatever the fuck it is, um you do run into a lot of situations where they just fire bollies at you of weapons, and I won't be able to dodge all of them, so you have to really focus on uh, cloaking for that to actually happen. So, um, <laughs> here we go. And there won't be a next time, and there's gonna be uh, some angry mantis people, and they're gonna have a boarding party. They're about to board on me right now, as a matter of fact. Actually, no. Not yet, but they're thinking about it. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I can't sh uh, set this up and running just yet, right? No. But I don't think I need to, because I only have two shields, so we'll be okay with this setup right now. So all we have to do right now is just charge. We could cloak whenever I want to. It won't be that long of a cloak, but at least it'll be interesting in case uh, a really big volley comes at us. I'll do it after. Oh god, that's a big volley right there. Mm, let's actually cloak now. 
So this will actually impede them from actually shooting anytime soon unless we shoot, which we have to. So, uh, shoot, coward. Uh, chain lightning, let's go ahead and start shooting that off into, I suppose, the weapons area. And they both hit, so now we can do halberd across, like... Like so? Okay, good. Good start up. Now, we didn't put their- we didn't take their missile out, which is what I was hoping for, but... At least for now, we should be okay. Now, we could do chain lightning again, but I am gonna hold up until we get the halberd beam almost up and running. That should be now. So let's uh, shoot this off one more time. And the shield area is so far off compared to, compared to everything else, which is really unfortunate. Both of them hit. Halberd beam. Let's go ahead and... No, you know what? Let's take out their weapons. I really need their weapons offline. I can't really risk the damage right now. So that'll do right there. They're going to board us now into our cloaking bay, no less. So... Now, mantis are scary because they could actually, you know, break through doors a lot easier because of their superior fighting abilities. They're, at least their oxygen is out, though. They're going to be running off though because they are terrified as to what's going to happen there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send this guy up through here and I'm going to start draining this area of oxygen preemptively. Now the doors are going to be a lot easier to actually penetrate now that I have no um, Zoltan right there. So hopefully it doesn't bite us in the ass. Chain lightning is ready to go so let's actually shoot that off right there. Both of them hit. Halberd beam one more time through there. Now they ran off which is good. Close the doors, open everything up, and now they're done, good. All right, overall, they actually jumped in the most opportune time because I don't want to deal with them after we beat the ship. We have 49 scrap, which is good, all righty. And everybody run off to where you should be going, and as soon as some oxygen flows really nicely, we'll be able to close this off, and everything good, all right. So that was relatively okay, but it wasn't that hard of a ship because we only had two shields. We could deal with two shields. Three and four are going to be a big problem for us right now, but kind of have to deal and roll with the punches, I imagine. So do we have going on over here? Nothing. All right, and I need a hundred for this, so we need about forty scrap, and then we're gonna need at least fifty for the reactor power. If I got in that backup battery a while ago, that could have been really helpful for us. But then again, if I bought the backup battery, I probably wouldn't have had enough to buy the cloaking base. So, uh, it's a hindsight twenty twenty thing type of thing, but you gotta realize, okay, nothing but weapons and cloaking, which is okay because you know what, they're gonna shoot a lot at us, but we could actually cloak out of their first volley. We're not going to be charging right now, though, because they are cloaking, which is unfortunate, but... As soon as they come out, they have no shields, so this should be a relatively easy fight for us. I don't want to, you know... All right, there you go. So now cloak. Everything missed. Excellent. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So we have to go for their cloaking bay first. That is essentially their quote-unquote shield. And afterwards, after I do that, we'll be able to land a few shots somewhere else. So let's go and shoot the cloaking bay. That is just about done. This is going to be a troublesome... This is going to take down our shield. Oh, no, it didn't. Now, Halberd Beam, let's go with weapons. Can I hit? I can hit that. Excellent. That went really well. And that's pretty much a... Oh, god damn it. I was going to say that's all she wrote, but then they cloaked. So, I guess I'll wait. Oh, god. They hit our fucking... Really? I should have cloaked on that one. I got a little bit too zealous right there. I figured, oh, we're good. We're perfectly fine. No problem, though. Not a big deal. 51 scrap. That's really good for a relatively easy fight. And you come and give a... Uh, who is this? Bray Wyatt a hand over here. Got to follow the buzzards onto the fleet right there. So you jump back when you're done. Excellent. Bray Wyatt, you should be okay. So 114 is enough for us to get the other weapon. So um, that's good. We have the reactor power for the weapon next now. And afterwards, we can start working on reactor power. And after that, maybe even upgrading our cloaking ability. All right. Um, I could cloak and stay hidden, but I'd rather fight these guys. I, I'm, in, I'm in it for the scrap right now. So let's just attack them. They have a... Fucking drone, which is always a problem. Um, they have three shields too, which is a bigger problem. So, here's what we might do. We might actually go and, um, use our Ion Charger for this one. And that is because we want to take down their shields. So, we're going to test out my theory about the Ion Charger. So, we're going to let that charge up to three. And then once it's up to three, we'll loot our, we'll send our barrage. And then we'll go with the Halberd Beam. So, Ion Charger should just be about ready now. Okay. And now let's just go straight up for... It doesn't really matter what we go to. We have no shields, which is a little bit scary. Halberd Beam is ready to go. Excellent. So let's go uh, this way. That's going to hit four of their areas, which is really, really good. They didn't take down their drone, which I was hoping would be the case, but whatever. So now we just wait for Ion Charger to do its job again. That's going to probably hit some things and hit her shields, unfortunately. Um, You go and give my NG friend a help here. Actually, don't, because I need you for that. He should be a take care of it by himself, though. 
So now we're good to go. Let's uh, shoot this off one more time at their weapons. Let's say Halber Bean should come in and pretty much take care of these guys soon enough, though. They have a lot of NG in their ship, though, because they're healing relatively fast. Again, we didn't take out what we wanted to, but okay. Okay, we they hit our goddamn <laughs> captain ship over here. So you go over there. Halberd Beam, I need you to kind of go a little bit faster right now, because I need to end this fight already. Alrighty, so that's uh, up and running again. Let's hit this once more. We missed way too many times, unfortunately, but... Let's see, we'll go this way. Are they gonna... Uh, I wanna accept the surrender just because they're actually causing a lot of damage, but the scrap is so shitty, so I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna play it close to the heart here, and hopefully get not get fucked by it too much. Alright, Hopper Beam, I need you up and running. Ion Charger, same thing. Let's actually, if we can, start thinking about cloaking on our next barrage. I haven't used my cloaking. I, this was a really bad fight in terms of uh, not using my cloaking accordingly. So, so Charge Beam, let's go like this. Oh, it missed! It fucking missed! Alrighty, you have to cloak now then. Alrighty, so the next one should do it uh, as long as the Ion Charger uh, does its job here. So I'm gonna wait for the third level. Oh no! Uh oh. Now that's not good because they booked it. I I don't think they're gonna. Mm, are they gonna tell the Federation or the Rebels where we're at? They didn't. Oh well, there, there you go. They should have selected their surrender after. I wasn't paying attention to their fucking uh, FTL jump. Honestly, I was a little bit too confused with everything that was going on. So that was my mistake. That really sucks, but whatever, man. Ah oh, man, I should really pay more attention to that. Alrighty, cloaking. Attempt to stealthily access the space station. Oh, let's yeah, let's do that. Oh, I tried to sneak past it, but it didn't work. At least they have no actual ways to really damage us, quite honestly. So I'm a little bit confused as to what the hell these guys... Are. I guess that's going to shoot probably like five times at us or something, but even so, they have no way of protect... Yeah, this is a really interesting ship. I mean, they have absolutely no way of doing anything to us, so... Let's just go with Halberd Beam across through here. <laughs> I guess we'll take out their weapons for now. Alrighty, we just had to wait for the Halberd Beam to pretty much kill him in the next turn, I'd imagine. Or at least come close to it, at the very least. Yeah, this is a really interesting ship. I, this seems like a level... This is like a Sector 1 type of ship, which is kind of interesting. And I should pretty much take care of him right there. Alrighty, so at least kind of redemption from the last fight. 45 scrap, investigate the station, 25 more, 2 missiles, and another drone part. Good. We're at 184, meaning we could finally do this, do this, and let's see here. Let's get this up and running. I don't have enough power for it, I need one more, right? So, let's go and... Uh, well, you know what? Until we need this, let's not activate it. So there we go. And now we have even enough room for one more, as a matter of fact. I guess uh, my counting abilities were really terrible. So we could even get one more, probably like... Here we go. Suddenly that Jared Leto could have been really useful right now, wouldn't it? Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll see where we go. Maybe we could even trade one of these off for a level 3 weapon. We'll see how this happens. But that's kind of really unfortunate. I guess uh, my counting abilities were terribly off on that part. It's not my fault, guys. I dropped out of middle school because I had, you know, I had to provide for my family. Back in the, uh, <laughs> colonist days. Who needs to go to school past the age of 12? Nobody, really. Alrighty, you arrive in the middle of the plasma storm. Alright, that's not gonna be really good. So, um, we... Let's make sure we have important stuff up. Oxygen is not up. That's actually really important. Halber beans should be able to take care of them by themselves, though, so... Mm, let's do this away, and we'll do oxygen instead. And let's just go at this right now. Uh, we should be okay. The chain laser should drop down their shield enough for the Halper Beam to actually come in and do damage to them. So they are as affected as we are right here. So let's not freak out too much. Flat cannon went off and did its thing. Chain lightning. Okay, let's go with... Um, doesn't really matter where we go right now. I guess we'll do shields just for the heck of it though. And then Halberd Beam is going to go through all this here. A lot of damage. They're going to try to get the hell out of here. We're not going to let that happen this time. However, I could drop shields right now and actually go into cloaking which wouldn't be a bad idea just to avoid that flak good <laughs> so i know i have no shields right now which is a little bit of a dangerous play but i i'm fairly confident that was a uh, the right decision right there so now we could do chain lightning to or chain laser I keep calling it chain lightning for some reason uh, let's go with chain laser to um this because i don't want them running away we hit them one more time however beam is up and running and let's do this again they're gonna re they're gonna surrender five missiles. I'm sorry, bro. I need the scrap right now. Missiles is not really what I'm into. Um, okay, 45 scrap. Not too bad. Could have been better, but not too bad. 
Now, let's think about um, upgrading our actual existing things here. We need cloaking one more time. And we'll be able to get a level to three, level three in the next time. So we'll do that and uh, let's jump out of here first because we are missing a lot of uh, power due to the ion storm that was going on there. So this is going to give us a chance to actually recuperate. So shields up, get this up and running, get this up and running. And we have one more for this. Okay, overall pretty good. I have enough for another reactor power, but I'll hold off just in case we run into some sort of interesting store somewhere and we need the extra scrap for something. You never know what it might happen, so just in case. Uh, it appears that an automated Rebel Scout is positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. Alrighty. Three. They're going to actually try to fuck off as soon as we start this fight, which is actually not good for us. So let's hope that um, my hard work and diligence of our pre-planning has kind of come into play here. So Ion Charge needs to get up and running along with Chain Laser. Alrighty. One more. Oh, all right, there we go. So now let's go with chain or charge ion to there for now. Okay, that didn't exactly hit completely. Now we'll go this. And now halberd beam needs to take down as much as possible. And I should be able to hit four rooms, I think. Yes. Oh, really good. And now they're delayed because we took down not only their engines momentarily, but their pilot ship more importantly. And let me actually just cloak out of this situation because, oh god, it still hit? Alright, you dick. I was trying to avoid that, but, you know, whatever, man. As soon as Halper Beam is up and running, which it is, so let's go and send this off. And let's also send this off. And then Halper Beam should just come in and just completely demolish their life like that. Alright, good. So that's going to be a pretty good scrap intake for us. 30? Actually, it's not good at all. Especially this late in the game, that's actually pretty terrible. Um, you could come in here and give our slug friend a hand because he is actually... Well, he was taking damage from the lack of oxygen in there. Alright, let me take a bit of coffee meanwhile this happens. <laughs> Alright, that coffee's still hot as shit. So we could also really benefit from healing our ship a bit as well. So if I jump over here, can I still get out of here? It does seem that way. So let me jump down here and then we'll jump to the next one and then exit out. Try to maximize as much beacons as possible. And let's actually use our weapons for this. And we do we want to take their bribe. 42 scrap is okay. It's kind of right, right on par with what we've been dealing with. Um, Yeah, I'm going to take their bribe. 42 seems like a pretty... It's like just about on par with what we've been getting from this sector. So we could go into a fight, not have to fight people and get the, just about the same amount of scrap. I'm all for that. There are only two ships within range and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markers of a space pirate. Let's aid the civilian ship. Alright, so they only have, they have the energy shield, but they only have two shields, which is a little bit more, less concerning for me. So they're almost on par with our defense system anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, just wait for our weapons to charge up. I like our, I like our, our layout though, I really do. Like the whole waiting for everything to kind of go hand in hand, and then we kind of lay out our barrage here. So let's do that first and foremost. Our sh energy shields are offline now. And now let's go with Chain Lightning too, if we can, hopefully. Shields. We missed twice, which is really unfortunate. So... They shot twice, right? Good. So I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna use the cloaking just yet. I'm gonna wait for one more barrage here. Alright, and we're up and running. That's actually gonna probably hit, so let me cloak. Good. And now let's go with Ion Charger right there. Excellent, and now let's go with Chain Burst to Weapons, right? Good, and now let's go with Halberd Beam to... Uh, let's go... Let's take down their dodging ability. Actually, let's just go this way if we can. No, we can't. So it's one or the other. So let's just go this way, I suppose. Take down their shields as well. Don't, don't let those go and come back online. Uh, good luck there, uh, Mantis people. You're not going to heal anything in time, unfortunately. You guys aren't melt made for that. Ion Charger. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just take something out. The next barrage is pretty much end them. Our Halber Beam is going to come online, and there you go. Overall, relatively okay. All right, we got uh, 40. Let's contact the civilian ship, and we got Alex. Welcome aboard. Why would I decline that? I mean, I, I, humans are kind of shitty, but, you know, it's another extra person that's going to help out regardless. So... Where can we put this guy's real question? You know what? Um, you know, our dude is kind of really maxed out in terms of, uh... I was gonna say, let's just put him as our dude over here, and then we could send our Rockman to 
kind of help us out outside, but he's already kind of maxed out in that, so I guess we'll send you... Uh, it doesn't really matter where we send you at this point. Let's just hang out by the Cloak Bay, I'd imagine, and kind of give us a hand whenever we need to. Let's save this layout. Alrighty, 161. Oh, there's a store. Unfortunately, I can't make it. If I go to the store, there's no way I'm going to make it back on time, and those... Uh, that fleet's going to actually catch up to me and just destroy me, so it's not really worth it. It's a tempt. It's, ba it's basically to kind of cock tease you a bit. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTO drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Alright, let's explore the asteroid field. This might give us damage, but we might find something. And anyway, it just was damage after all. <laughs> that sucks too bad. Okay, so fire is not good. Let's open these doors. Uh, you could just kind of hang out over here. Don't even worry about that. Uh, you should worry about that, though. Get out of there. <laughs> they took they took down the clone bay? Really? That's unfortunate damage. Whatever, man. So that's up and running now. And let's, uh, everybody go back to where they should go, and Slugman, give me a hand over here, please. Alrighty, that was kind of unfortunate. Asteroid field, man. I mean, usually when you get an asteroid field, you have the chance of damage, like I mentioned. But occasionally you can find something interesting, um... It sucks for us right now in our stage because we are actually, uh, taking a lot of damage already to our ship. We need to find a store to kind of heal up as soon as possible. That's gonna probably impede us from, uh, progressing any further, because there's gonna be enemies that are gonna probably... Uh, I guess uh, give us whole damage as we get to the Federation or the last sector, anyway, the last stand, I should call it.